For today's video, we're going to get some gameplay with the new Potshot Spec Ops Grenade Launcher, which is currently available in the weekly store for 1680 gold. And here's everything else they're selling in the weekly store for those who haven't seen it yet. Also, for those who don't know, there's also a Mythic Lead available in a Power Level 140 Deliver the Bomb mission. Anyways, here's what the new pot shot looks like up close. And the perks that came with it were fire rate, reload speed, physical damage, damage, damage to miss monsters and bosses. Whenever you stand in place for two seconds, it'll increase your damage by 11%, and that can stack up to five times. You can have up to four damage perks on it. You can also have two fire rate perks, three impact perks, and at most you can only have one crit rating perk. And you'll also be able to choose between any element. But the perks we're going to use are crit damage, damage, physical damage, crit rating, damage to miss monsters and bosses. And at the very bottom it says explosive weapon grenade launcher spec ops. Uses explosive ammo to shoot proximity grenades that damage groups of enemies in a moderate radius when they explode. One thing I wanted to point out with the pot shot is that it does have the slowest fire rate when it comes to all grenade launchers. And it has the second slowest fire rate out of all of the rocket launchers. The only launcher that has a slower fire rate is the Noble Launcher, so we may end up changing one of our perks back to fire rate if we need it. But yeah, that was one thing I wanted to point out. It does have one of the slowest fire rates when it comes to launchers. Anyways, for our loadout, we're gonna use Demolition as Penny with the Totally Rocking Out Team perk. And for our support team, we have Breakbeat Wildcat, Main Stage Quinn, Swamp Knight, Crossbones Barrett, and Skull Ranger Ramirez. And we're gonna be using this new skin called throughout the gameplay, aka Chains. And there aren't that many missions that have many bosses available at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and do this power level 132 evacuate the shelter, and we're also gonna do a solo. Before we do the mission, I do wanna try it out. And first, let's start off with the Smasher. 1.5 million, and we almost killed him with just one shot. Oh man, we're gonna have to try that again. Hold on. Nope. Nope. 1.6 million. And look how much damage we did. Nope. Nope. Oh, wow. How is he not dead? How are you not dead? I have no idea. I really want to one shot this dude, man. Nope. You know what? Let's try that again. Because I, I really think we can one shot him. And we were able to one shot him that time. So we weren't actually able to one shot him when we were standing still, but we were able to one shot him when we ate a subwoofer. So you can one shot smashers with the pot shot. We also would have been able to one shot him if we changed our crit rating to damage or crit damage. But we were able to get him by just eating the subwoofer and coconut. And we were able to one shot the blaster as well. And we did 1.5 million damage that time. And you also be able to one shot takers with it. And that time we did 1.4 million. And it shoots grenades that end up exploding after about two or three seconds. So you can't place them down like proximity mines. And here's what the fire rate looks like without any fire rate perks. It takes about two seconds in between each shot. And we do get a total of six rockets in the magazine, but they shoot three rockets with every shot. So you're gonna have to reload after every two shots. So yeah, as you can tell, the fire rate is definitely one of the slowest when it comes to explosive weapons. And the reload takes about three seconds as well. So that's also pretty slow. But yeah, that's what the fire rate and reload speed look like without any fire rate or reload speed perks. Also, it doesn't feel like the radius is that good on it either. Like right there, we couldn't even kill the pitcher, even though he was standing right next to the sploder. So the radius of the pot shots explosion doesn't really feel that big compared to some other launchers. And it's not gonna be able to pierce through the shield of shield. And we just killed the Riot Husky with it, even though we shot his shield. So it's gonna be really good when it comes to Riot Huskies. And let me just double check, make sure that wasn't a fluke. Yep, you will be able to kill Riot Huskies through their shields. So yeah, when it comes to Sploders, you should be able to kill them without setting off the propane. All right, so since we're playing solo, we only have to get 10 kills for this first part. And we only got four left. I, I didn't really get a chance to finish building like I wanted to. Because it's evacuate the shelter, but I think we'll be alright. And it's like they're coming from two different directions. We're going to have to be careful here. And I didn't get enough time to 
farm coconuts. I did get a, a few sub wipers, but okay, let's go use one now. I'm gonna try to save most of those for the mini boss when they come out. Obviously, we don't have any explosive defenders, so I'm just using three sniper defenders with the obliterator. And let me check over here because I don't have that many traps over here. Uh, basically, just some wall launchers to push them back. Anyways, when it comes to the pot shot, I would consider it to be the best grenade launcher because of the amount of damage we dealt with it is better than a lot of the other grenade launchers. Oh, ours just ran out of durability. And I believe I have another one crafted. Let me see. I thought I had another one crafted. Okay, maybe not. Let's go ahead and make another one. And I did not know that one was about to break. Please don't die. Oh, I'm about to die. Hold on. Hold up. Give me one second, people. It's called the pot shot. How come I'm not? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. There we go, people. My bad. I thought I had another one made. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. I thought I had another one made, but apparently I didn't. Smasher. But yeah, when I compare it to other grenade launchers, like the Easter egg launcher, snowball launcher. Oh, I think they're breaking through over here. And the thumper. What's another grenade launcher? The cannonade. When I compare it against those type of grenade launchers, I would consider this to be the best one. But it's not as good as a lot of rocket launchers. Uh, the radius is super small. And we don't deal as much damage as other rocket launchers. So even though I do think it's the best grenade launcher, I wouldn't consider it to be the best launcher overall. It looks like they're changing directions. Y'all better not be going through the middle here. I don't have any traps over here. Stop coming this way. Let's try to make some walls real quick. I don't know if we can close that off. They may be spawning and breaking that wall there. Oh, and we're out of ammo. I think that's another thing I don't really like about this is that it seems like it runs through rocket ammo really quick. There we go. But definitely good in terms of damage. Like I said, I think the most damage we did with it was around 1.6 or 1.7 million. Playing solo. Obviously, you'll be able to do more damage than that when you're playing with a full party. Looks like there's a bunch of stuff going on over here. Okay. Let's try to take these guys out. And let's go ahead and try it against the flinger while we're at it. Oh, no. <gasps> what just happened? I was crowd surfing for a second. We're good. I need to get out of here, though. I feel like I need to get out of here. But yeah, let's go ahead and try it against the flinger again. Should be able to one-shot him, I think. Yep, there we go. And I don't have any more health, so... I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I don't want to take any chances. And on evacuate the shelter, the mini boss spawns at like the last second. So hopefully we get some good modifiers. We'll, we'll still try to take them out, though. But yeah, like I said, the only things I don't like about it are the fire rate and reload speed. They seem kind of slow. And the radius, the, the radius also felt really tiny. Try to take out these loppers here. But yeah, the damage was good. The range was good. Uh, and again, when we compare it to other grenade launchers, I think it's the best one. But there's definitely a lot of rocket launchers that are better than this one. Because they have a quicker fire rate. They have bigger radiuses. Is that a word? Radiuses? They can also deal more damage than this. But yeah, I think if you play with a full lobby, you should be able to do up upwards to like maybe four or five million with it. And our defenders are down. Let me go try to get my defenders real quick.
I'm down. I know. I'm on my way. Hold on. But right. how'd you get up here? Back in action. Oh, we're gonna have to close this off. Oh, there's the mini boss. And the mini boss would show up when I'm trying to get my defenders. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get him. Well, let's go ahead and shoot him anyway, see how much damage we deal. I'm about to go down too. I don't know if we can test it against them. Oh man, that hurts. You did it! Oh, was that two million? Wait, did we do two point five million at the end? All right, well, that'll do it for our first pot shot gameplay. All right, so we got a level four loot chest with some survivor XP, gold, eye of the storm, and hero XP. We also completed one of our dailies, so we got some gold and V-Bucks. We also got some frost up, as well as a healing pad, pure drops of rain, and lunar tickets. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.